Okay, so this video is how to connect your Blue Yeti mic to your Canon 700D uh, and use it as an external microphone. Uh, we're currently recording on the Canon and using the uh, Blue Yeti mic uh, externally. Um, so this fir first bit of the video is recorded using uh, the two together. Um, when I show you the settings um, and how to uh, plug it in and set up the camera, uh, that'll be recorded on the uh, GoPro. So I hope this uh, video helps, uh, and if it does, uh, please subscribe. So connecting the uh, Blue Yeti to the uh, 700D, the first thing we need to do is uh, connect a couple of cables up. The first one is a 3.5 millimeter jack, uh, 3.5 to 3.5. Um, you can purchase these any, pretty much anywhere, Apple and eBay, or if you've got one lying around. Uh, and the other cable that we need is a uh, USB uh, to a Type B USB, so standard USB to Type B. Again, you might have one of these knocking around, they're used as chargers, um, used as GoPro connectors, uh, all sorts. So you can use that uh, whichever one you've got lying around. So to connect, once you've got that connected, that is purely just for the power. Um, when we're using it on the actual Canon because the audio comes down the 3.5. So uh, to connect the 3.5mm uh, it just goes straight into the uh, bottom of the Yeti. So on the right hand side we've got the uh, headphone jack it shows on the on the bottom. We'll plug that one into there and for easy just pass it through the bottom there just to stop it snagging. Once you're connected to the microphone, then you need to connect the other end to the camera. Uh, there's a couple of flaps on the side of the camera. Uh, the one on the bottom left that you can see here, it's actually a mic, uh, shown as the mic on the, ca on the camera. And where it's the bottom one, which is 3.5. The top one is for the camera remote. Uh, it's a different size uh, jack anyway, but uh, we just plug that lead into the bottom, like so. Uh, so that's the audio side of it connected to the camera. So the next thing we need to do is connect the power up so the mic has power. So the smaller end, the Type B end, goes into the bottom of the uh, microphone, the bottom of the Yeti. And just pass it through the loop so it uh, just to keep it away from snagging. If we're using it on the uh, computer, it would be transferring the audio through the uh, USB as well. But just for the purpose of the the camera and using it for doing videos and stuff, that we all we need we need some power to the microphone. So I'm just connected to the USB port on the Mac. It can be any USB port, but. Uh, and it's on the front of the Mac because I have a breakout from the back. There's nothing special about it. It's just literally just having you on the front. So um, that gives us power to the mic. And you can tell you've got power to the mic because the uh, mute button is flashing. And if we was to uh, push the mute button, then it, it would go permanently red, uh, which means it's recording, uh, which we will do uh, once we get uh, get to setting the mic up. First thing, so the, we have to get the down mode in the right mode. Um, we can see the down mode there, um, depending on which mode we have it in there. So, first thing, we need to switch the camera on, uh, put it into video that's for recording on um, obviously whatever video like YouTube, one like this. Um, and then we have to select uh, the type of mode we want. Uh, currently, it's in P, and if it's in anything in this range here, which is the advanced mode. Uh, we'll be able to get to the advanced menu uh, if we have it in any of the others we won't be able to see so um, just to start us off I will put uh, it in automatic and then we'll have a look at the menu from there uh, so let me just get it so you can see the screen so if we push the menu key on the camera 
Uh, it brings up the different menus. Uh, we need to go, uh, well, we're actually in the right one there, but you'll see along the top here, the different ones. Um, and we need to pick the one that we want. So as I, if you're starting, it will be there. Um, you need to go to the uh, second dot with the camera on it, which is this other top that I'm referring to there. Once you're in there, obviously you can select your movie records, have the sound recording. You've either got on or off. If you set it to off, it's just not recording any sound at all. Yeah, set it to on, then it's just going to record standard sound. Um, but what will happen, the problem is, is because the um, the Blue Yeti is quite sensitive, it will pick up all the background noise, um, you get all the hissing. So you need to adjust the gain, um, which you can do on the actual Yeti, but best to do some settings of the camera as well to get it, um, get it exactly how you want it to sound. So, um, because that we're in the, uh, this is all, this menu is because we are selected on A at the moment because of, because we're in A, that's the reason we say. So we set that now to one. You want you can use any of these, but I use P. Now, so we select it into P mode, um, and you'll notice now once we're in that P mode. I mean, if I just put the camera back so you can see it. Okay. Uh, so now we're in the P mode, now we need to go back into the menu so we can, uh, so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're in P in the setting menu. Um, go back into menus. And now we have sound recording, we have an auto. So, scroll through, um, obviously you can see you have lots more settings as well on the top here. But we still want the same um, one with the two dots at the top. Uh, I'm referring to this little two dot here. So we still want the little two dots there. Uh, we then go to into sound recording. And then we into there and you want manual. And then in here now you can set your different settings. And you'll notice as I'm uh, talking now, um, there is nothing at all happening on this bar at the bottom. Uh, that's because the Yeti at the moment is set to mute. Uh, as soon as I unmute the uh, Yeti mic, you'll see that it starts to uh, jump up and down on the settings. Um, I have already been playing around with it, but you can adjust the volume here. So if I adjust the volume on, and you'll notice as I adjust it, uh, the bottom decibel bars goes up. I'm not moving the position to the mic, all I'm doing is turning this up. The more I turn it up, the more uh, the input into the camera goes up. Uh, we want to be around the 12 decibel mark. Uh, we don't, if you go into zero, it'll sound all distorted. So it wants to be around this mark, which is your optimum. Um, also, you can adjust the same settings um, in your record level, which is important. Usually when you start the camera up, uh, it's usually around about the three quarter mark. And again, you can see as I turn that up, it's going uh, up into the zero, into the red, the higher I go. Uh, it'll just sound really distorted, lots of hissing. So usually sit it around the halfway mark and also you've got the uh, your wind filter uh, in here you can't actually uh, you can only adjust uh, the one that we're on at the moment you can't adjust the wind filter uh, because that's just purely for the uh, built-in mic alone um, so that's the actual camera settings once you've got the camera set uh, exactly how you want it you then can actually play around with the different settings on here so we've set the volume on the uh, Yeti but also if you uh, spin the Yeti round, you have several other settings on the back of here. Um, obviously just check the uh, instructions, depending on which one there, we stereo, etc. But the gain is the uh, important one. You can adjust your gain on here. I usually have mine set just above quarter um, or just below sometimes, depending on where I position the microphone. Uh, but if again, if you turn this up and down, it, you will notice it uh, starts to go up and down on your meter there. Um, and it also, what it does, it, it reduces the background noise. If you've got it set about quarter uh, and you've got your levels right, you should be able to just hear the voice and no hissing um, from the actual microphone.